Hello everyone, this time welcome to our class today. So what we have here, we are going to analyze, uh, we are going to carry out a qualitative analysis of a compound Q. That Q compound is what is known to be calcium triazo triazo nitrate 5. And in the in order to identify the anions and the cations in it. So in our previous videos we were able to do some other analysis. If you go to our previous video you find out some other analysis concerning some compounds. But in this case we are going to look at calcium triazo um, calcium triazo nitrates five uh, compound. So here, what we have here is that Q, the Q plus water shake. What we observe is something that they will, will notice that is soluble and give us a clear solution. And then, it, it, since it, we have a clear solution, it means that transition elements are not, the transition ions are absent. And it means that insoluble ions are also absent. And the soluble ions are likely to be that, that are likely to be there should be potassium, sodium, nitrate, triazo nitrate 5, ammonium ion, and hydrogen triazo carbonates, carbonate 4 ion. They are likely to be present because all these ones I listed are their um they are example of soluble ions that can give us something that look like this. So um, the next one we we'll do that solution we have from above we add sodium dilute sodium hydroxide solution in drop then in excess in drop we have white precipitates in our observation we have white precipitate that is formed and that's white precipitate is also insoluble in excess of sodium uh, dilute sodium hydroxide solution so this confirms um, calcium ion means that calcium ion is present. So in this case now, in the next next one, we get a solid sample is a, a sample of Q, a solid sample of Q, and then add in a boiling tube, add concentrated petrol surfaces acid solution, and then heat. We have an oily oily drop on the upper part of the test tube, which forms the brown film as you heat along. You notice that brown film will be coming out. Now to this now, you know that which means which means um, in our inference it means that triazo nitrate five um, ion is likely present or nitrate four um, gas is also present. So in order to get this thing done, the next thing we are going to do now is to um, we add copper forms. Confirm in order to find out what happened. This one we have is D. So the mixture, the mixture from C above adds. Copper coins and heat. When you add copper tonnes to it, you heat it. On heating, we notice brown fumes. Brown fumes formed. In our observation, it means that since we have the brown film now is small than what we are experiencing in this case, so the brown film is an evidence that we have um, we have um, nitrates for gas and also nitrates. It means that the, the compound contains nitrate 4. Nitrate 4 gas is going out, and it means that the, the compound we have that the ion present there is triazo nitrate 
five ion. That's that means that um, that's confirmed. Confirmed. So because the only gases that can give us that is this, and the brown fume means that in the process, um, the come to trace of acid as it is displacing the 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 nitrate acid because most time concentrated surfaces as it can also be used as a displacement agent and this can also be done in another way by what we call by the co uh, popular um, test that we call brown ring test if you carry a brown ring test where you use a copper ion two sulfates and then with conch acid and when you mix all these things you find out that you have a kind of brown ring at the at the, uh, at the uh, at the rim of the test tube. So, thank you so much for um, staying with us. I mean, I wish that you subscribe and then like and also um, share. Thank you.